Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Quick little update, I'm not even gonna make it long. The tune, still not done. I don't, I, I don't know if I can believe it myself. It's been two whole weeks and uh, it's still not done, guys. Um, I'm waiting here anxiously. Hopefully, third week is the final week. I wish I could tell you guys when is the final week, but at this point, I don't even know because it just keeps getting longer and longer. But besides that, today, you guys saw we got the hood and, well, I took upon this 4th of July weekend. By the way, happy 4th of July to all of you fuckers. Uh, I took it upon this weekend to actually install the honeycomb carbon on the vent. Now, this is a uh, experience for me because I already had my fair share with carbon fiber, with the resin and the whole process in my center console and trust me it was so stupidly hard and i just freaking hate resin so much so i was i'm definitely scared right i was definitely scared when doing this uh this whole episode now at this point i'm already done with the hood so i'm gonna show you the whole process and overall i'm gonna give myself an a minus it turned out pretty damn good we already ordered the wrap yes we are going to be wrapping the hood yellow the reason for that is if i do it all black is like i'm gonna have people you know tell me hey why did you wrap it black why don't you just leave the whole carbon exposed and i'm and i'm gonna be like well in reality only the vents are carbon not the whole hood so like to avoid that conversation i'm just gonna color match it yellow so it has a purpose that being said today's video might be really short but i'm gonna show you just the process of everything i had to go with the hood i had a lot of problems come with the hood uh the hood cracked i had to fix it some holes started appearing in the hood i had to fix that uh, the resin spilled the whole hood wasn't an wasn't even i had to sand the whole thing down i had to respray the whole hood a lot of freaking crazy shit happened and I'm gonna show you all that right now in the process and at the end of this video I'm gonna show you the final results of how it's gonna look like at least with the vents man it looks so damn good like I'm actually proud of myself I would appreciate for all you new viewers and old viewers and OG people everybody to give this video a thumbs up because the effort I put into this is absolutely astronomical so without further ado let's get on with the video guys we're about to begin wrapping the vents we got our carbon fiber right here man it looks so beautiful man we got it we're gonna be using the 3m adhesive for the first uh tacky coat here on the vents we it's not laid down yet it's just on top overlaid but check that out man that looks so good man dude this looking at this carbon just makes me want to do everything in carbon it just looks so damn good man all right guys, welcome back to another morning. Here we got the hood already placed. This one got a little bit of white flakes because of the adhesive, which kind of sucks. And I don't want to take it all off because it is not going to come out good. And, uh, now we're basically just going to add the resin. We're going to blow dry everything here. Make sure everything is kind of dust free a little bit. At least the first few layers of resin don't have to be super perfect because we're going to be sanding them down and doing all that perfection. Later on, once we move to clear coat and maybe like that final layer of resin, we'll completely shut off the garage, blow dry before, and make sure it's completely a dust free zone so that we don't get any bubbles or anything like that in our uh, resin and our final product. All right, guys, here we got our resin. We got a, this is a one to one ratio, so you're going to add Whatever you add of hardener, you're gonna add the equal amount of resin. Um, we're gonna pour it into one cup. We're gonna stir it with a stick, obviously. After we're done stirring for like maybe two minutes, we're gonna pour it into another cup and then stir it again just to make sure that it's uh, being stirred well. We're about to add our resin. We added about two ounces of resin. Now we're adding, adding our hardener. That's about four, four ounces solid. Right now we're just letting it kind of soak in the resin a little bit. All right guys, we're done with the first layer. Um, obviously right now it's not, it's just basically it's just soaking the carbon and maybe adding a super thin layer on top. Once it's done, we're, once this is tacky a little bit, after come maybe two to three hours, we're gonna go ahead and add another coat of resin, and uh, that should be our solid first layer on top, giving us enough ground for us to start sanding, and then uh, we'll continue after there. Hey guys, welcome back to another day. I just came back from work. Uh, we're ready to tackle this hood once again. Um, it's already been resin about three layers. Uh, 
I try to do as multiple layers because with this uh, hexagon pattern here, uh, with the traditional carbon fiber, it's pretty much like a flat surface. But with this carbon fiber, the hexagons each kind of make like a pool inside and the little strands on the outer, like the outline of the hexagon, it, it's pretty tough to cover that. Let me show you. Uh, so it kind of, I try to put as many layers so I have enough layers to sand because sometimes when you put the first layer, it'll make a pool in here and then this outer outline will still be carbon and no no surface on top. So now we got enough layers and we should be able to sand it. There's a lot of stuff to sand right now. So right now we're pretty much perfecting the final result before we get to uh, stuff, man. A lot of stuff to sand. So here we go. All right, guys, I've been sanding for about two hours. If any of you guys try to attempt to do this, all I can suggest is that Tr when doing the first coat try to do less spills as possible because the drops basically get hard and you basically have to sand everything that touch resin because it gets super hard and you want everything super flat um, a lot of it is spilling off as you can see don't worry it's gonna turn out fine we're gonna probably spray a paint over it but hopefully with the second layer of resin that we put over it we should have a more even surface and uh, everything will level out but you gotta send it out we still have a lot of glossy parts which means is we still have to do like maybe a si second round of sanding after we place this layer but uh, so far it's looking good i'm gonna try to see if i can put the camera down here so i can show you the satisfying part because right now it looks all freaking ashy you know when you put don't put lotion Alright guys, it is day three. Well, the end of day three. I've been doing all my magic. All I gotta say is props to whoever works on this carbon fiber stuff and perfects it, man. Kudos to them, man. This thing is so freaking hard, man. So this is what happens, right? I sand the whole piece. I did the resin. This resin thing is super difficult because when it runs down, it ran down on me and like ran down over here. And it's super hard to sand off and as you can see, I spent like three, four hours sanding it down. Then I added like a primer here so that it can smooth it out. And then the freaking hood cracked here in the front. So I added a little bit of resin as well as primer. Then I'm gonna sand it off and it should be good. It's just a little small crack, nothing too serious. You can the vents are looking good so far. They're starting to get their shape already. They're reaching its final stages. Basically right now, what I'm planning to do is once this thing's dried down, I'm going to try to sand this hood as much as possible. You can see right there, it still needs a little bit of sanding. And then we might apply one more resin, not sure, or we might just go straight for the clear coat. Alright guys, I don't know what day is this, but we're almost done. The hood's looking dead. I had to add a little bit of primer. And I'm going to sand everything, make sure everything's smooth. But the vents, as you can see, most of the part is gray which is that what we want that's what we want because that means it's somewhat it's it's flat instead of being like wavy and stuff so at this point i'm probably just gonna wet sand some more all right guys here's the hood um <clears throat> right now we basically just covered all the carbon hopefully there's no paint in it make sure to cover them pretty good with some overlaps and stuff like that so they should be nice and covered but we basically just put a primer over everything okay this is because, man, I hate resin, man. The resin is my worst enemy. This process takes forever and it took way longer than usual because this dumb hood, I, I messed it up. Within each layer of resin, you're supposed to wait seven to six hours. And I was able to speed that process to maybe two to three hours just because how freaking hot the sun is right now. It freaking helped me and it gave me my advantage. We're in our 90s and 100 degrees. just finished the hood and we just gave it the last layer of resin and then it should be good after this we're just gonna sand it with the 1500 grit or 2000 and then spray the clear coat on top of it but look not bad all right fuckers so that was the end result 
I really hope you guys like it and I'm sorry I couldn't show you the end result like everything done with the wrap but hopefully that'll be next video the wrap comes in this Monday and we should get that done for you guys and the hood installed and ready to head out to the road man hopefully if the tune is done but yeah let me know what you guys think man I'm honestly freaking great I'm uh, I meant to say proud these moments with this resin stuff man props to whoever does all that carbon stuff you guys are legit bro you guys are legit so without further ado guys I'll catch you guys next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.